Hi guys, welcome back to Charlotte's Foliage. I wanted to get in here today and first of all say, welcome back if you're revisiting and welcome if you're new here. We talk about plant content, anything from plant problems, solutions, or um, just wish list plants. So I wanted to talk to you about a pest that uh, I have on one of my plants Actually, I have it on two of my plants and that was only because they were side by side. So what I wanna do is show you uh, what plant has the pest and um, what I did about it, okay? So I noticed the pest on my staghorn fern first. And this plant has always been by itself, but recently I brought it down from being hung up to uh, a lower light uh, and closer to my um, other plants because it was up so high it wasn't getting enough light so I brought it under more light. So without further ado, uh, let's, let me show you the plant. This is my staghorn fern. And I'm gonna show you the pest that I'm talking about that's on this plant. It's actually all over the plant. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's those little brown spots. And what that is, and I'll show you some more over here, a better view, it's called scale. Well, how I know this is scale is because I watch other YouTubers show me about different plants that can get this type of uh, pest. And um, so um, how do you treat scale? Uh, basically, I sprayed this entire plant with neem oil and then I isolated it from other plants. This scale won't hurt, hurt humans, but it does, um, it can affect your other plants. So basically I've sprayed it with neem oil. Let me show you what neem oil looks like in case you have the same issue. Okay, I'm gonna put the plant down. And I'm gonna show you my neem oil as soon as I figure out where to do it. I just had it to show it to you guys, hold on. Okay. Sorry guys, this is my neem oil. And basically you read the instructions on the container and you mix it with water on some of them. And then some of them you use neem oil straight because it's already diluted. So I just have this spray bottle that I use and I spray the entire plant, including the soil. And so uh, in two weeks, I'll spray her again but I noticed my Rick Rack cactus had the same exact thing on it. So I went on and treated my Rick Rack cactus and did the same thing. And then there was another plant, my alocasia, that was next to these same plants. So I treated it too, but I didn't see any scale on it. So I wanted to make sure that all the plants were treated. So that's my first time experiencing scale. And um, I don't, know of any other ways to treat scale, but I do know of um, people use alcohol and peroxide on their plants. Some of them actually shower the plant down and then take each individual scale and try to get it off of the plant. Uh, I'm not going through that just yet unless I have to. I'm gonna see how the neem oil works and keep the plants in isolation. And then I'm gonna give you guys an update and let you know how the plant is doing. So this is my first time having to uh, deal with this pest problem. And it's a part of being a plant owner. You don't have to throw your plant away. Um, some people do, but I wanna try and see if I can rectify the problem first. I'm curious if this neem oil is gonna work and if not, then I'll try something else. Um, another thing I'm gonna be doing today, and I'm not gonna show it on camera only because uh, I'm not prepared, but I have this um, 
terrarium that I've had for years. It was actually a um, uh, Carlo Rossi drink uh, bottle. Um, we had it years ago for Thanksgiving and I turned it into a terrarium. I wanna get some live plants and put uh, them in the terrarium and put a soil medium in there. If you've ever had a terrarium before, as you know, you don't really have to do anything to it, but occasionally cut down overgrowth, but it gets its own condensation if you it, because it's enclosed and you can put some beautiful plants in there and just set it and forget it. Some people like to have them in their office. I'd like to have one in my office, but I got enough stuff in there as it is. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but thanks again for watching. I won't keep you guys long. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and keep planting. Bye now.